Good day, ladies. This is our vet, the Alpha Woman One, aka the Alpha Womanpreneur, coming to you live today with a little Black Women History profile of Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, whose research broke barriers in the area of telecommunications technology. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here. But before I do that, Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, born in 1946, was a theory physicist and inventor. Her telecommunications technology research resulted in the inventions of call waiting and call ID, fiber optic cables, solar cells, touch tone telephone, and portable fax machine. Okay. So you have here a picture of Dr. Jackson. And I'm going to read a little bit of her biography, which is Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, born in 1946 in Washington, D.C., has achieved numerous firsts for African-American women. She was the first black woman to earn a Ph.D. for Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, to receive a Ph.D. in the theoretical solid state physics to be elected president and then chairman of the board of the American so Association for the Advancement of Science, the AAAS, to be president of a major research university, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in New York, and to be elected to the National Academy of Engineering. Jackson was also both the first African-American and the first woman to chair the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Jackson's parents and teachers recognized her natural talent for science and nurtured her interest from a young age. In 1964, after graduating as valedictorian from her high school, Jackson was accepted at MIT where she was one of the few African few women and even fewer black students, despite discouraging remarks from her professors about the appropriateness of science for a black woman, she chose to major in physics and earn her BS in 1968. Jackson continued at MIT for graduate school, studying under the first black physics professor in her department, James Young. In 1973, she earned her PhD. Shirley Jackson completed several years of postdoctoral research at various laboratories, such as Fermi in Illinois, before being hired by AT&T and Bell Laboratories in 1976, where she worked for 15 years. She conducted research on the optical and electronic properties of layered materials, surface electrons of liquid helium films, strain layer, semiconductor super lattices, and most notably the polarotic aspects of electrons in two-dimensional systems. She is considered a leading developer of caller ID and call waiting on telephones. After teaching at Rogers University from 1991 to 1995, Jackson was appointed chair of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission by Bill Clinton. In 1999, Jackson became president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, where she still serves today. In 2004, she was elected president of AAAS, and in 2005, she served as chairman of the board for the society. Dr. Shirley Jackson is married to a physicist and have one son. Okay, so salute to this amazing, her story making sister. And Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, you know, continue on to a career and her dream as a physicist despite what that she t was told that she couldn't do it because she was black and she was a woman and 
I hope that any of you black women or black girls who want to go into the film, the, the field of physics or any other STEM area, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Uh, it's been said that that field is lacking women, especially black women. So please do, if you have a dream to go in that career, in that area to study at, please go for it. Don't take Dr. Shirley and Jackson as a inspiration that you can do anything you want to do and you're being black and you're being woman it is it, is not a barrier it's not okay and i thank you all for listening today to this profile of dr shirley and jackson a pioneer in research to the inventions of telecommunications technologies and i will talk to y'all soon have a great day.